How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video and today we are doing a bonus video. It's Friday. Welcome. Uh, I got new glasses. They're kind of cute, kind of weird. I feel like Harry Potter, but that is cool. This is a continuation of a previous video I made uh, about five things any person can do for very cheap, if not for free or if not to save money, which is super cool. And these are really things anyone can do no matter what your experience is. So I have a list of 20. Uh, the full list is in a blog post on my website. You can go check it out, link in the description. And otherwise, oh, I realized I'm not doing a podcast. I should probably sit in my wooden stool, huh? You can see it right there with some books on top of it. Yeah, I'll go do that for you all because I'm not doing a podcast. But as I was saying, I am making this a four part series on my YouTube channel. So enjoy. This is part two uh, of things anyone can do to help save the environment. Let's go. Number one is buying food on clearance. I started to talk about this in the last video, so I'll only talk about it briefly, but some stores have a clearance section or when you see food that is on sale, that's likely because it's close to its date of expiration. And I'm gonna go right away and say, you should definitely buy food on clearance meaning food that is going to go bad or that has some small imperfections that makes it cost less. This means the cost of the food will be lower and you're saving the earth. Two very important things. Number two, we have Ecosia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ecosia is super cool. It's a super simple idea, but a super genius one at that. Basically, Ecosia is a search engine similar to Google or Bing or whatever you use, Safari search engine. Yeah, I think so, Google Chrome, like all those things. It's a search engine. And every 45 searches, I believe it is, you plant one tree. So every time you use Ecosia, you can help contribute to solving our climate change problem. Of course, you're not directly planting a tree by searching things up online. However, the revenue earned from your searches will be used going towards people who will plant trees for you. Of course, planting a tree is also something anyone can do, so go do that as well. Quite personally, I don't love Ecosia. I don't find their algorithm to get me as much as Google does. However, sometimes I will just go onto the website or pull up the Ecosia app on my phone, look up some random things because I'm bored during quarantine, and just search things to help plant trees. I'll search 45 things. When you plant a tree every day, that's, that's pretty good. At number eight, we have reuse glass jars. A lot of things these days still come in glass jars, which is great. Pickles and peanut butter and jelly and mushrooms that are jarred and other things. You probably buy things in jars. I'm gonna go ahead and say reuse those glass jars. I'm sure you've thought of this, but if you are recently becoming more sustainable, you probably don't have a ton of jars and jars are definitely part of the sustainability aesthetics and looking like a true environmentalist. So keep your jars, clean them out, take off the labels, make them look nice. We also don't keep all of our jars because we do have enough at this point, so we're not just gonna hoard jars, but glass is an infinitely recyclable material, so using it and recycling it isn't the worst option. You save a lot of energy than producing new glass, so recycle your glass as well. What I'm trying to put out here is don't buy new glass jars if you want glass jars. This will save you money because you're not buying new glass jars and it'll save the planet. Next, we have use reusables, not disposables. I hope saying this helps you remember next time, instead of reaching conveniently for things like plastic sandwich bags or plastic wrap or paper napkins or paper towels, whatever you use, that would typically just go in the trash, switch to an alternative that can be used indefinitely, like a silicone storage container, a glass jar, a plastic Tupperware even, it's fine to use. And I'll get into that in another part of this 
theories. Using what you have because you have plastic is way more environmentally friendly than going out and buying glass jars or glass Tupperware of any sort. My family started using reusable rags in our kitchen just by cutting up some old towels that we didn't need anymore and using them to clean up water that spills in the kitchen or whatever we need to clean. And we wash them and it works out. What I love about reusables is that the goal is to reuse them, not just buy more and more and more and more because you keep consuming them and really just wasting your money. When you buy plastic bags and they end up in the trash can, you're throwing away your money. Think about that. Your money is going into the resources needed to produce the material and then that material is going to a landfill. And plastic bags are not something that were made to biodegrade. Plastic was made to last indefinitely. And last on my list for today is to do some DIYs. I strongly recommend trying some new ones, especially right now we have plenty of time in our lives to do DIYs and have some fun. At least I have time for that. In my family we've experimented with new vegan recipes which you could count as a DIY. I made some DIY toothpaste, we have a DIY house cleaner. We do a lot of DIYs. I also made a DIY shampoo. What I'm saying is you just gotta be a little bit creative. There's always going to be a more sustainable way to make something yourself rather than buying one from the store. This will also save you money because you're not paying for the processing of your item. I hope you all enjoyed the video and that it gave you some more insight onto how you can help the environment very simply from the comfort of your own home and not wasting any of your good precious money that you probably very well deserve and took a lot of hard work to earn. So with that, I'm just gonna close the video here. Um, I hope you had a good Friday because who doesn't ever have a good Friday? Fridays are great. And for now, peace.